Hi, my name is Elise West and I am a current junior in the Pace Musical Theater Department with a minor in Critical Race and Ethnicity Studies. I'm currently in my sunny hometown of Houston, Texas, where I'm finishing off my semester. And I'm just going to talk to you guys today a little bit about um, Pace's uh, Musical Theater Department, my experience with that, and some of the things that details. So for me, it was really important choosing a place that had a strong sense of community, foundation, and um, students that had great experiences at the university that I ended up choosing. So when I did my audition, I did my audition on campus, which I highly recommend because you get to kind of meet faculty and staff members. Those are the people that will be obviously doing your um, auditions, but you get to talk to them in your auditions. You get to talk to the students and um, they will definitely tell you about their experience at Pace. And I kind of just felt a sense of community from Pace. Um, I just need to find, you know, something friendly, something my mom would definitely be, you know, okay with me going to. Um, and on top of all that, I had a lot of opportunities. And that pretty much is what surpassed my expectations since being a part of Pace University program. So, um, now that I'm here, um, I've done so much and I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the things that I've done, but to just to talk about the program, um, basically you'll be moving through Pace, um, once you get accepted and you're, um, here with your entering class, pretty much like a cohort. Pace's musical theater program is considered to be a conservatory style program. Um, so that just means that we are not a conservatory. Um, so all of your classes will not be arts classes, um, but there is a balance of arts classes and liberal arts classes, um, which is 70 to 30%. So 70% of your classes will be arts classes, will be performing arts classes, singing, dancing, acting classes, and the other 30% of your classes will be general education classes. So those are your math, your sciences, all of those classes, and the breakdowns for the curriculum um, are definitely online at um, pace.edu and our performing arts website, which I will um, link at the end of the video. It'll be the four people that you're pretty tight with, you get to meet with, and um, you'll get to see these people pretty much grow into really strong industry professionals. Um, you'll see them go off to Broadway, you'll see them go off into television you'll see them do, go off and do um things and you will do those things yourself because as soon as you get here the opportunities start falling in your lap i have now been a part of three productions is um, memphis and head over heels um head over heels um unfortunately had a abrupt ending um and never really got to go on its feet because of COVID-19 but I still got to meet with the industry professionals that you know you get to meet um when you're doing those productions so those productions are are all led by industry professionals that um are, usually have some type of really um great connection with the production so I did that um, I've also been a director um, you know, not just a performer. Um, there was a cabaret started called the Night of Color Cabaret, um, which features students of color exclusively um, in the musical theater program. Um, and I've got to perform in that um, since it was birthed my sophomore year. And my junior year this year, I got to direct it and it was a blast. Um, so if you see yourself in that project, that is also an opportunity for you. There's also just been a lot of outside opportunities that have been allowed to me. You do get to audition professionally and put yourself out there as a professional. Um, there are tons of people that come to the shows um, and you will definitely get connections through that. that you know, the people that see the shows, they, they love the shows all the time. Um, I've done demos for um, new musical theater writers. I've done um, productions for new musical theater writers. I've done some background singing work some really with some really cool and and, you know, critically um, acclaimed musical theater performers um, and all sorts of things. You can audition for Broadway shows. I've done three um, now. Uh, the You know, that number will obviously increase. But um, these are all um, auditions that I've got through Pace University and performances I've done here. Um, Night of Color, um, they actually brought the Dear of Hampton Broadway. Um, casting people to campus so they auditioned us here exclusively you know all great things. lastly I would just say um, definitely if you have any other questions please reach out to me I do respond for sure I know um, how 
you know, how difficult it can be trying to figure out what program is best for you, especially during times like this. So please reach out to me. I'm going to link my email at the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to um, explain and answer those questions in as much detail as possible. Also, if you want to get a good feel of some of the things that we do here, um, visit the Night of Color um, YouTube channel. They have all the performances from this year's performance. Um, and, you know, you might see me on there. Uh, click it, like it, subscribe to it, get into it, whatever it is. And also, um, again, I'll reiterate, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, reach out to um, the Welcome Center's email. Um, there are tons of tour guides that know, you know all this information, so we can also uh, all answer that for you. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, hopefully, I um, gave you a feeling of my experience, the musical theater program, and some of the things that we offer. Um, if you have any other questions, definitely reach out, though. Um, but I hope you're staying safe. And yeah.